It's my feel good breakfast show. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We are live, large and in charge. And right now, uh, one of my personal favorite segments in the show where we seek to find inspiration for you by exploring someone's story. And this time around, one Anthony Smith, who as a child used to walk around his neighborhood looking for arcade games in corner stores wow. with nothing but a two bob <laughs> in his pocket. And what's so inspirational about this young man is he's taken that nostalgia and actually turned it into a clothing line for today's Labor of Love. It's always a good feeling seeing that somebody else buys into your dreams and the sort of brand that you've wanted to create. I'm Anthony Smith. I run a clothing label called Tubop. A Tubop is a 20 cent piece and I used to use a 20 cent piece to play the old arcade games. So I grew up playing video games at the corner store and just being really inspired by those. I was obsessed with arcade games and I would explore the neighborhoods looking for games that I hadn't seen before. Yeah, video games inform a big part of my clothing brand, Tubop. So I took that passion and put it into the brand. I didn't have any training, I didn't study fashion, so I uh, relied on a few friends that worked in the industry, so they showed me some of the ropes, but I basically had to learn a lot of it on the job, and I wouldn't change that for the world. In the early days, we used a lot of like pixel art and then also sort of aesthetics that would, you'd find on the side of an arcade game or actually in-game. So we would either create our own characters or use fonts and typefaces that were used at the time that you'd associate with the classic video game era. And then as the brand progressed, we started referencing it more subtly, not just like putting graphics on t-shirts. And also we started referencing corner store culture and like broadening the inspiration behind the brand. Do it again. That was quite scary opening our first retail store. It was kind of like realizing that it's, okay, this is for real, you're committing to this. It's not only online, so it was exciting and also very like an important landmark for us. Yeah, the corner store has become like quite a, a hub where people come and congregate and we have events quite often and we have quite a large following so it's a bit of a place to network. And we've also started a project called Summer School which is a creative workshop for high school kids and it's something that we want to take further in the future and just give back and share our experiences and share our networks with younger people. I need to give thanks every now and again and acknowledge how far we've come and I feel very blessed and very grateful to be surrounded with like such a nice team and I love the people that I work with and also love being in control of my own time and creating things that I like. Advice for a young entrepreneur would be to do something that they're passionate about and also to have the right attitude towards it, have a really good sense of humor. Yeah, just stay positive, there will be loads of challenges. And it's also really important to foster relationships. If you can master relationships, you can build a good business, I believe.